What's up everyone? Welcome back. And today is a great day and I'll tell you why. Right after this commercial. Wow, I did it again. I cracked myself up. Welcome to my Creating Good Habits series. Um, this is lesson number four. We've talked about my first lesson was cutting something out negative in your life or that's affecting you in a negative aspect, negative way. Uh, the second lesson we talked about was being honest. Third lesson was exercise and fitness, which is my last vlog. And today is the fourth lesson. And today is it's a very special lesson and I hope that it impacts you in some type of way because it's something that I think about all the time and I lose track of myself. And it's be grateful. Be grateful for what you have around you. Be grateful for where you are today, the position you're in, what you're given. Because there's a lot of things there's a lot of things that we should be grateful for. And I wanna ask you a couple of questions, answer it in your head. Um, I'm just gonna just spit fire. So one, do you have a place to live? Do you have a place to sleep? Do you know where your next meal is coming from? Are you worried about getting your next meal? Do you have friends? Do you have family? Do you travel? Ask yourself, you know, like, I'm pretty grateful. Like, are, am I grateful? Am I grateful for all those things? Because a lot of people in this country, United States, and in other countries, they don't have a lot of that. They don't have they don't have the majority of their family still. They're worried about where their next meal is coming from. They don't know if they can pay for their next meal. You know, they don't have an iPhone. A lot of people don't have an iPhone. You're so like lucky. You're so fortunate. And I, I I'm realizing this even as I'm talking about it. We're fortunate enough to have an iPhone for crying out loud. You know, if you if you're gonna just rip on somebody for how they, they look, how they dress, and I'm a hypocrite for saying this because I've done it before, and this is something that I'm trying not to do, is judge people, that's in, an, in another lesson in the future, but be grateful for what you're given, and don't, don't let the opinions of other people bring you down, don't do that, you have to be grateful because, like I said, things could be a lot worse, and you were placed in a lottery, you are placed in Especially if you're in the United States, if you're, if you if answer all those questions, if you have a place to live, if you have a place to sleep, if you know where your next meal is coming from, come on, be grateful for all that. If you have friends for crying out loud, don't, don't take these things for granted. Please don't, because you never know when those things are going to be gone. Think about right now, think about the most important person in your life. Mine is my mother and it's her birthday today. Uh, it's Friday right now. Um, if you see her around town after I post this video, if you see my Instagram post, uh, wish her a happy birthday. Set this back. Roommate set this back. But like I was saying, think about the most, the person that you are most grateful for in your life and think about if they were gone. What would you do? You know, you have to really, you have to, you have to pay attention and don't take those people for granted because you never know what you have until it's gone. I hate to use the word irrelevant. I, I hate that word, but please do not make these irrelevant problems just to feel interesting or important. It's really, all it's gonna do is it's gonna cause negativity in your life. It's gonna cause you grief. It's gonna cause you, cause you stress and, and hate. And even in, in, in the end result, it's gonna be depression or envy. That's all it's gonna be, or jealousy. So that's all these irrelevant problems, you know, if you have to talk about a kid, if you have to make these, you know, if you have to talk bullshit with your friends about the way this kid dresses, the way this girl acts, um, if you have to be like, oh man, my damn iPhone won't work again, my computer won't work again, like, and you're just frustrated about it, most people do not have an iPhone, most people don't have a computer, you know, like I said, we were, play we were placed in a lottery, we were placed in this wonderful lottery where we are fortunate enough to have all these great things in our life. So please, please realize what you're given. Please be fortunate and grateful for uh, th these things that are placed in your life because um, message of the day, you don't know what you have until it's gone. Be grateful. Um, if, even if you have to, write in a journal every single day, I don't do this, I should do this, is be grateful for something Write one thing every single day you're grateful for and why. Because, like I said, there's so much to be grateful for in this world. So once you realize how grateful you are, and once you realize those people in your life that make you happy, 
the people that are most important to you. Um, it, it's literally, it's just a heartwarming feeling to know that they're there. Give them a call. I'm gonna give my mom a call right after this. I'm gonna give my grandma a call today. Um, because like you said, I, I'm, I, I'm grateful for having those people in my life. I don't know where I'd be without my friends, my family, my support group. I don't know where I'd be in my life. I'm so grateful for those people. And um, I want you to ask yourself a question. Is uh, like, who's the most grateful person in your life? And I want you to call them after you watch this and tell them why they're the most grateful person in your life. Make their day today. That's my lesson on being grateful. It's Friday, uh, big birthday day. It's Taylor's birthday over there. And it's my mom's birthday today. So I got a lot of uh, happy birthdays to say today. So um, we're here with Rourke, Jen Chang, the whole, the whole uh, crew is here. They're all part of the vlog this morning. So, um, oh, hey, didn't see you there. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so good. Good. Yeah. So basic. So for those of you who don't follow me on my Snapchat, um, that last guy you just saw was Michael Rourke. He's like the star of my Snapchat story. So I uh, finally had to uh, feature him on the vlog. It was about time. So there will be plenty more of Rourke around. You just wait. So uh, walking to class right now. Two classes today. Gonna check out a house. Um, and then after that, a uh, big night planned tonight, so uh, there's a lot going on. Um, today is not a cheat day, tomorrow is the cheat day, and uh, I'll show you guys what I have in mind. So I'm here with my boy J5. We're about to hit shoulders right now, so um, check it out. Hey yo, parts of the night still seem a bit fuzzy, like a wool sweater knitted by somebody's grandmommy. And I got some tests next week that I ain't ready for. Makes me think it probably ain't a bad idea to study more. I got a couple texts from you, I ain't responded yet, but baby girl, I promise you, I try to get around to it. But for now, I'm too fucked to even function. Maybe I was stupid, or maybe I'm just unlucky. Really, I don't know, but I really don't care. Cause I could go anywhere with you I'm trying to let loose tonight And if you need me to I could come through tonight Cause I got you one of you can have it girl You got me ecstatic I don't need a reaction I just want you to talk My voice on the LP. I got homies from up north down to OC. I spent my summer riding way 34th Street. Yeah. It's Saturday. Saturday is a very important, a very important day for the kill. It's cheat day, and I am having a lot of food today, starting with chocolate chip pancakes. It's officially cheat day. Check it out. We're here at Bobo's in Tucson, and uh, got a chocolate chip pancake right there. Side of kale. With a side of kale. That should be my new vlog title. And baby girl, where you been? You got me sleeping alone. And this mix up in my drink has got me riding the zone. And I was thinking about you as I was starting to fly. Because I swear I saw this girl to look like you from behind. Alright, so Michael's back. We're hitting the gym right now. Um, about to do legs. What are you doing? Taking notice and you thinking if I wanted to, it's something I can help, but I don't know. And do I really even care? Cause I could go anywhere with you I'm trying to let loose tonight And if you need me to I could come through tonight Cause I got you If you want it, you can have it Girl, you got me ecstatic I don't yeah. need a reaction I just want to talk I just want it. Alright, so we're just getting done with a leg workout. Rourke's, Rourke's smiling at me because I'm vlogging here in public at the gym. So, something I've gotten used to. But, um, just got done with leg workout and I'm stretching right now. So, I almost pulled my hamstring or something like that in my last workout, which I, f I finished all four sets, but 
that last rep of the fourth set kind of got me so I, I felt my hamstring tighten up so I'm stretching but stretching some like one thing that a lot of people lack especially after like a, a leg workout and it's something you're supposed to after your leg workout because your muscles are already warmed so I try to stretch after just about every leg workout if I can like I've said in the past I run out of time so sometimes I skip it which is on me but uh, every time every time I do stretch after I feel a lot better um, and I'm, it's like my legs aren't cramping up me or tightening throughout the day so um, stretch after your leg workouts all right so we're here at sauce in tucson my boy d my boy ben corey michael over there in the corner say hi michael hi. this is phil what's up so we're all just uh we're just eating dinner on a sunday night i got myself a spinach chicken feta avocado corn it's good stuff whatever it is all right everybody it's that time it's sunday night um, you're probably doing homework, chilling, relaxing, whatever it is. Um, hope you guys had a good weekend though. And I want to go over the main takeaways from this video, from this lesson, from my Creating Good Habits series. So the biggest takeaway, um, that was be grateful or, or be grateful to those around you and for all the things you have in your life. And um, cause, because there's so many things that we have to be grateful for. I mean, everything from your friends, your family, your support group, you have a roof over your head, um, you have things to do, you have all these great um, toys, technology, computers, iPhones, all that good stuff. You have so much to be grateful for. And I want you to realize that right now, that it could be a lot worse. Things right now could be a lot worse in your life. And so those, those small pity problems that you might think are super important to you right now, relationship drama, um, friendship drama, um, things that just you don't need in your life. It's pity, pity things. You got to look at it and just kind of just put it aside. Push it aside and realize how grateful you are right now because there's a lot to be grateful for in this life. We have a lot. And sometimes we just don't realize how much we have. Sometimes we take all these things for granted and it's right in front of our face. And like I said earlier in the lesson, you never know what you have until it's gone. With that said, I want you to, I want you right now to call, text, DM, get in contact with somebody that you're grateful for right now. And you don't have to tell them that you're grateful for them, but just kind of let them know in a sense. Let them just go up to them or text them and just like, hey, just, just let me know like, I love you. I'm thinking of you. Remember that time when we did this and that? All the good times. Just like, just make their night, you know? Be grateful for having them in your life. Prove it to them. You'll feel good about it. They will feel great about it. They will light up. And uh, I think that's something that you can do tonight that's going to give you, it's going to make you a little bit more happier than you might be right now. So um, be grateful. Take advantage of every situation because, like I said, Big takeaway from the lesson, you don't know what you have until it's gone. So, on another note, um, West Coast Muscle is going to be releasing a lot of new content, um, some new designs that I mentioned in the last video. Contact me, DM me, whatever you need to do. Um, if you have any questions about nutrition, exercise, if you have any questions about myself, um, if you just want to just chill, talk, have a good time, whatever, like, don't be afraid to reach out to me. I love all you guys. I love the support that you guys have been giving me. I, I Seriously, it really does mean a lot. Like I say, in every video, it's awesome walking through campus, walking around, seeing random people I don't even know, saying, hey, I watched your vlogs. That's like, that means a lot to me. People say, I love your vlogs. I love this. I love that. Uh, you're, you're very positive. I love what you're doing. I love when people are telling me this stuff. It really does make my day. It brightens my day up completely. Seriously, guys, I love you guys. Like I said, any questions, comments, concerns, uh, feedback of any sort, you let me know, and um, I'll take it. I, I, I love everything you guys have to say to me. I will take um, into consideration. So that is the lesson on being grateful. That's my fourth lesson on creating good habits. And uh, stay tuned for next week's series. Talk to you.